Hello everyone, uh, today we'll be solving problem 124 of chapter 16. The disc grows without slipping, grows without slipping such that it has an angular acceleration of four radians per second squared. So without slipping is an important information, which means that we only have rolling at the point of contact and that would be the IC, the velocity would be zero. Determine the acceleration of point A and B on the link and the length angular acceleration. So we want to find omega AB, the angular acceleration of the link, and also acceleration, not angular acceleration, but acceleration at point A and acceleration at point B. So finding omega AB, we know that B has to move towards this direction at this instance, omega. Velocity at A is also perpendicular to the radius. So if I draw a perpendicular line, I can find IC instantaneous center of zero velocity. I can see that its identity is uh, located at infinity. That means that omega AB is zero. And at this instant, I have only translation. And this is true for only this instance. At an instance different, if Point A moves to a location here, the velocity would be different and we would have an IC. So we found one of the unknowns. Now we need to find the other two unknowns, acceleration at A. But before we delve into the equations, we need to remember for the disk that is rolling at a point of contact on the ground, the velocity is zero. So here, the velocity would be zero, but the acceleration is not necessarily zero. We have two components of acceleration. The tangential acceleration is zero, but we have a normal acceleration, R omega squared, and that's towards the center. So that would be the, this component, R omega squared towards me. That would be the direction of acceleration. And at point C here, I have a velocity, which is R omega, and I have tangential component of acceleration, which would be R alpha, but I don't have any normal component, and An would be zero at the center of the disk. Because the center of the disk is not moving towards a curvature. The center of the DC is moving straight. So at uh, an instant later, still the center would follow this path. But a point of contact at a moment later would be somewhere else. So it's moving around the center. It follows the curvature, the radius of the disk. So you need to remember that at the center of the disk, we have a velocity and we have acceleration, the tangential component of acceleration. At the point of contact, if it is rolling, that would be our IC point. So we don't have any velocity, the velocity would be zero. The tangential component would be zero, but we have a normal component. So we need to remember that one when solving problems with regards to disks. So I'm interested in finding the acceleration at a. So the acceleration at A would be the same as acceleration at C plus the relative acceleration between the two points. So acceleration at A, I can write with respect to point C or I can write with respect to point uh, B here. For this case, it really doesn't matter because for both points, they have one uh, component of acceleration. When it's velocity, we, will, we always want to write the velocity based on ice because at that point, then we don't have any velocity. So acceleration at point A would be the acceleration of the center. We said that the center is going to have R alpha. The radius is 0.15. 
alpha is four. And then we have is in the direction of positive x. So that's our AC. Then A, A with respect to C, it has two components, the tangential and normal component. So the tangential component, if it is rotating clockwise, let me, that would be negative four, okay, cross A with respect to C, which means that from C, So positive 15, 1.5 J. And R omega squared from A to C. Omega squared would be two, so omega squared would be four. And it's in the negative direction, so negative 4.5 J. If I simplify A, A, B 1.2 I negative 0.6 J. And the unit that I'm using here is meter second square. So I found the acceleration at A. A C had only one component, only the tangential component, and A with respect to C had two components. So I can use the same thing for A. I can use do the same thing for AB, the acceleration of point B. I already found the acceleration of point A, so I can write it based on point A. AB with respect to A. So I already have everything about point A. I just need to find AB with respect to A. So let's find AB with respect to A. So this acceleration, has two components, so it has alpha AB cross RB with respect to A minus A B squared RB with respect to A. But we found that omega AB is zero because it only has translation. So AB with respect to A is only have, will only have one component. So A, B, with respect to A, um, alpha A, B, I don't know the value for alpha A, B, so just write it alpha A, B, K, I'm assuming counterclockwise, or B, A, so I need to write from A to B. Let's clean up the image. this vector. So this distance is 0.4. This is 0.3 and this is 0.5. So I'm, I have three, four, five triangle. So if I wanna find the horizontal component is four over five and the vertical component would be three over five. And both, and the X component would be positive, the Y component would be negative. So the dimension is 0.5. The horizontal component would be four over five. It would be toward negative y direction. The vertical component would be three over five j. Now, if I put everything back together, I have a a. I have a b with respect to a. I can find a b. I know the direction of a b is in i direction, then a, a, which would be 1.2i, negative 0.6j. So here would be 0.4, alpha a, b, j. Plus 0.3, alpha a, b, i. To find a, b, I can write the i component. On the left side, I have a, b. On the right side, I have 1.2 plus 0.3 alpha AB. So I can't find AB. I need to write the J component as well. 
On the left side, I have nothing, it's zero. On the right side, I have 0.6 plus 0.4 alpha AB. From here, I find alpha AB, one point right, radian per second squared, then if I replace it, AB would be one point six five meter squared. So the problem was asking for AB. I found AB and alpha AB is one point five. I assume counterclockwise and counterclockwise uh, is true. Is that's the direction of angular acceleration of link AB. So for this problem, we wrote the angular acceleration with respect to point C. You can write it for based on different points as well. But for this, you need to remember that at point C or at point I, you, you have one component of acceleration. And at, at the point of contact, the velocity is zero, but the acceleration is not zero. That's true for any ice point. 